ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் கே நைன்டீன் த விடோ மேக்கர் திஸ் பர்டிகுலர் புக் இஸ் ரிட்டன் பை பீட்டர் ஹச்சன்ஸ் ஹச் ஹோசன் கேப்டன் ஆஃப் யூஎஸ் நேவி இஸ் அ ரிட்டையர்ட் கேப்டன் ஆஃப் யூஎஸ் நேவி இன் திஸ் பர்டிகுலர் புக் த புக் ஆக்சுவலி ஸ்டார்ட்ஸ் டாக்கிங் அபவுட் ஹவு த குரூக் சப்மெரீன் ஆஃப் ரஷ்யா ரியலி டாமினேட்டட் இன் த சிக்ஸ்டீஸ் and uh, how uh, the submarines are uh, which were nuclear powered was often considered as uh, the widowmaker submarine wherein uh, the nuclear reactor are bound to be uh, corroded or bound to be uh, damaged or even it is not planned the whole structure or whole setup of building these uh, nuclear powered submarines itself was flawed to such an ex- extent so that uh, they have to meet i mean the deadline was very very short and and uh, there were there was very less time span so that uh, the construction and there wasn't much proper planning during the construction of these submarines and which also required many things to consider uh, to have consideration with and uh, this particular book is also inspired uh, to to many many individuals uh, wherein uh, this uh, book also is a testament of uh, the history of what will happen if uh, uh, there is any uh, nuclear catastrophe occurring uh, in the civilian terms and in the military terms also because uh, we cannot depend on uh, the after effects of a nuclear radiation because the radiation poisoning is very very disastrous it will cause uh, massive death and massive toll on human life and human health so this book uh, also highlights about the difficult times in the russian uh, russian era uh, when in, in the soviet era rather than the russian era because united soviet ussr was the one which got broken down in the late uh, 90s and uh, then you have heard about now what russia is all about but even though with the during those times uh, and at the brink of cold war anything might have happened between the us and uh, the russians and there was also some uh, what i call as uh, friction between both the countries about uh, who is dominating or who is domineering and who has more weapons than the other uh, but uh, this particular uh, submarine uh, was uh, what i call as demolished later and uh, declassified rather than demolished it was declassified and uh, particular uh, submarines have been sent to the other countries as uh, those countries have imported the submarines so uh, in particular our own country india is also running couple of uh, krug submarine which itself has a faulty reactor inside it and uh, is of a serious condition these uh, submarines uh, which uh, runs uh, nuclear bound uh, nuclear uh, process and uh, in the arctic sea there are uh, so many uh, remnants and so many ships which has been sunk and so many submarines itself have been sunk sunk there in the arctic sea uh, which my, which is also a global threat for uh, radiation poisoning of uh, the sea uh, and also the ocean the arctic ocean itself has been almost uh, fully loaded with all these nuclear uh, weapons including uh, the torpedoes submarines ships and other uh, uh, military bound uh, battleships etc so overall i can say this bu- this book is rather interesting and uh, also it's a courageous one wherein the crew of k19 has really uh, dedicated their lives to save it to rescue Uh, this so called uh, worn out submarine and finally a lo- lot of people died in this process of uh, securing the nuclear uh, re- reactors collisions and also to uh, prevent the nuclear catastrophe uh, which was bound to happen due to the loss of uh, uh, heat occurred uh, due to the failure of nuclear core in the particular submarine the k19 submarine and many people uh, in the sense many of the men brave men went inside to the inside the reactor and uh, they tried to weld off the coolant valve in order to cool make uh, in order to make progress in cooling the reactor as a process so they have uh, they have succumbed to the life uh, due to excessive radiation and also the side effects of uh, the radiation 
often resulting in uh, fatal death and hair loss as well as uh, cancer and tumors respectively more than 20 men uh, died and which this particular uh, information was really uh, didn't wasn't available to the world because uh, as the military power in russia is very uh, stringent to expose or reveal any sort of uh, mishaps which has happened under the under its governance or under its control and many of the uh, captains and uh, uh, sailors have been uh, restricted to talk to the public or avoided eye contact with that of the military so later on after a couple of uh, years uh, when later when the soviet union uh, got uh, broken down or uh, got out of its uh, early stage uh, this particular uh, truth came out uh, for the general public to see what actually the regime of so ussr did uh, to the captains and sailors as well as uh, lieutenants and comrades uh, in the in the military uh, in particularly navy so anyhow uh, i hope that it is uh, very interesting for you to go through the book and i hope that it brings you some interesting stuff it makes you feel somewhat uh, no 